Congressman Symington, I'm calling you Congressman Symington, your many titles, because I have a legislative question about the Congress of the United States, House and Senate. If one would, I've heard, I read your book, I bought it a week ago, in the wonderful talking about Tip O'Neill with Ronald Reagan and mm -hmm. other legislators, your great father, Senator Stuart Symington, Theodore Francis Green, wonderful statesman. If you read Politico and the Washington Post and those other wonderful things we read every morning, uh, you'd think that Washington, the legislative branch of the United States of America, is full of narcissistic loudmouths <laughs> who would rather fight than to govern this great nation of ours. Would you comment on the legislature in your time and what you see reading those wonderful papers in the morning? Well, it, it, the latter part of your kind question about uh, my, my friends there, I had lots of them on both sides of the aisle. In those days, we were allotted one trip home a month. I'm just, this is just an angle. Uh, that meant that we were together three other weekends, and we got to know each other, and we had some respect for each other. That, that was filtered into the way we approached issues, that we could debate certain things, but it never with a personal touch or anger. Now, of course, you go home every weekend. And uh, so you, you're splitting up. You don't know your, your colleagues the way we, I think we did, because we could be on opposite sides of an issue and still break bread together in one of the little sandwich shops on the floor of the house. Uh, I don't know quite what to do about all that. Uh, I think s there ought to be a, an examination of a uh, literary kind of, of how Congress works and how it should work, if possible. Because nowadays, I'm just not sure that there's a lot of cross-aisle fraternization. We had it all the time. I even sat on the other side a lot of the time, just to shoot the breeze with these guys. Also, uh, both of the uh, parties have their own little sort of sandwich shop at the end of the floor. I spent as much time in theirs as I did in my own, where you get to wrap it with your buddies on the opposite side. So I don't know, uh, perhaps someone, you know, some smart person will write a, a kind of description of what's going on and maybe make some recommendations. All I know is that well, although I had arguments and differences with guys, I don't think I had an enemy in the darn place. And, and, and uh, today I think they avoid each other if they don't want to uh, come together in any fashion. So I hope that helps answer the question, at least from my perspective. I would like to see I would like to see the members get to know each other a little better. I would like to see situations where they can mix in between parties, either socially or in, in work, and realize that the, the devil isn't in the other people, it's in the problem. And uh, let's see what we can do together to solve it. So keep your eye on it. You know, that's your Congress. Everybody in this room, your Congress. <laughs> Find out what your people are doing to get along with the other side. Hi guys, thanks for watching this Politics and Prose Events Essential. We are a bookstore, so if you're interested in checking out the books featured in this video, click here to buy it from our website. If you want to watch more highlights from our other spectacular events, click here. To watch the full version of this author's talk, click here. Or to stay up to date on all of our events, follow our social media accounts by clicking these guys down here. And don't forget to check out our whole channel and subscribe to our other videos. Do that by clicking on the Politics and Prose logo up here in this corner. Right here. Click. Thank you. So nice. So nice. You guys are the greatest. So great. <laughs>